Happy Women's Health Monday, everybody. Um, this month I've made life a little easier for myself. And the topic is how to do weights without doing weights. So let's just imagine you have one of those um, female clients for whom heavy weights is off the table. They are adamant they want to lose weight. They don't want to lift anything. Um, here are some creative ideas to get the load through their skeletal systems because women um love it or not absolutely have to lose weight and absolutely will not gain bulk unless they set their minds to it and go on a very specific diet and exercise program so i'm going to arm you the best thing about these methods this month is that they're not going to cost you a cent and in the comments after this live i'm going to post some awesome videos that will make you laugh are the ways we've got these clients lifting and chucking and throwing and power training without actually doing weights. So I've got two strategies for you today. Number one is tires. Number two is tools. Okay. And this is why I love them. So tires are free. You literally walk into a, a tire shop or place or service station and take what you like. So make sure you bring your trailer or some way of um, transporting the tires because you can get everything from little golf cart tires for the kids and the elderly or people who are rebuilding to lifting to tractor and um, truck tires. Um, you can chuck them. They bounce. You can chuck them, drop them, um, which means you can do some really sort of crazy power moves or you can load up the client quite heavy and it, there's no big deal if they, if they lose them or drop them or they slip. Um, you can use them as a step. You can use them as an obstacle. They're useful for cardio training, agility training because they're unstable as well as strength training. Um, you can play with different grips, so you can hang them off your shoulders, you can use your hands and carry them like a farmer's carry, you can bounce them off your hips, um, you can leave them outside in the sun and the rain for years and they won't degrade. So they're almost better quality than the dumbbells in my old studio. And they're a huge variety in um, size for any person's ability. So that's why I like tyres. Now tools. Ropes, mallets, wheelbarrows, shovels, shoveling dirt and sand are my favourites. Um, mostly because they're heavy and they're task oriented. So um, task oriented, your body's doing a thing which it understands much more intuitively than uh, you know hip extension or hip thrust. The body understands pick up that shovel and shovel some shit. Um, it exercises your brain too when you're using tools because you have to learn a new skill. Um, so you get more complex neuroconnectivity through your body, through your brain, um, and that's like two birds with one stone or three or four or five depending on what you're looking at. And the other reason I love tools is uh, most of them your grip will be strengthened as well and grip is a huge factor in longevity. Um, so uh, there's that test they do where they do the grip test and they can they can tell you how long you're going to live depending on how strong that grip is. So those are my reasons for these two top tips. Uh, give me a minute or two now and I'm going to load up in the comments some um, great videos. They're going to make you laugh. Um, but great games videos for outdoor trainers and indoor ones or anyone with a little bit of space. If you have a question, um, feel free to direct message me. Otherwise, I'll see you next week with a couple more tips.